How's it going guys? This is my third video. This video is going to be how to set up a wireless wireless modem router. I'm doing this for my friend, so I've, we just recently went down to uh, Officeworks and we bought this Belkin N1. Um, the difference between an N and a G, not really much, but it just gives you more room. The only reason we got the N1 was because it was a better price and um, it, it's just I think it's just the end's going to be more of a general usage for wireless these days. Okay, we've just opened the packet. Of course, this is the actual... That that one there, that's the actual modem uh, with the antennas for the wireless. Over here, we've got an Ethernet cord, which is a category... Uh, I think 5. See the cables there. Um, you use that to plug it in. We've got a phone line for... Um, this is the RJ11 to the BT. That's only for New Zealand. So if you're in New Zealand, you would use that cable because you'll plug it straight into the wall. But we're not in New Zealand at the moment, so we don't need to use that. Um, this one's the num one we need to use. Okay, now... Okay, this is the old setup here. We've got a D-Link router and the um, modem. He was, was using before just the... Because he's got the Xbox set in. He was just had the modem straight into the Xbox, but we set up the router so he can use the his laptop here and connect it to the router so give it more people. Um, um, what what this will do, this one here would eliminate both of them because the router, um, the router connects to more than one, so does this one connect to more than one? And this one is the one that communicates to the head end, the service provider for ADSL. As you can see, it plugs it into there. Okay. Um, Okay, um, at the moment, this is my friend's laptop up. What I'm actually going to do is um, I needed to get the login information for the ADSL internet service provider. At the moment, you can see that it's still there. I haven't done anything. Okay, um, what, I, what you would do is, um, this is Windows Vista. Windows XP might be a little different. You first find whatever it's connected to, and you have to find the IP address of the computer at the moment. So what I'm going to do is try and find it by one you can just go um, down the bottom on Windows XP it would have a run button but this one's just the search button I'll type in CMD which is the um, command for the, uh, Windows it's a global thing what you would do is you'll put in IP C O N F I G which is IP configuration forward slash A W L that will show every IP address connected in and out to on this computer now, if we scroll up, he's using the Ethernet adapter because he hasn't got wireless set up at the moment. Um, if you see here, it is um, it, you would look for something that says IP version 4, IP version 6, because IP version 6 is going to be the new ones out. Um, it would have 192.168.0.143. That's his IP address of the machine. Now, I don't know the IP address for these two, so I'm going to just presume um, usually that would be whatever the last digit is, so if it's 192.168 it would be dot .1 or 0 0.1 and that would be 0 0.2 or it might be another variation. Let's have a look. What you would do is you would go start Internet Explorer, so it would open up your Internet Explorer. Instead of typing in Google or anything, you just put in, um, sometimes you might have to put HTTP colon uh, that's if it actually works, Colin. And you would go 192.168.0.1. Enter. Okay, here. That's the DI704P, and that would be the D Link router. So I'll try admin, because <clears throat> sometimes I would just leave it as default. Excellent. Okay, try to leave it blank. There we go, we're into it. Now, this is the actual router, so I need to actually find how to get into the modem. Do you want to just cut it for now? On? Yeah. Okay, um, what I did, I couldn't find the IP address for the modem, but um, what I did was, all I did was just get the name, search it on Google, because that's all you need to do. Google is the base for ans answers. It was a speed touch 530. I just did search IP address, and the second one down there, it said it was 10.0.0.138. Now, the reason the IP addresses between this one and this one are different, because what happens was, um, it, it makes its own IP address and keeps it the same. 
what it does is that goes through to the router. The router then gets that IP address, makes it its known, and then gives IP address out to um, all the people who are connected to the network. So this one, it might give it the 1438 or 1, as in the dot 138, whatever. Then it might give it to another computer, another, and as you add on, it will add up to the number to, it goes to two, 255. Now, <clears throat> once I've actually got it, I actually typed it in 10 dot 10, oh, 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 138 okay this is the speed touch here um, broadband connection see how it's already connected to the internet so what I'm going to do is go into the connection and it will tell me the information about it the IP address for that's the global IP address so that's the actual one that Telstra has given us as in so um, if you go onto a website, someone say, "Oh, this person accessed this web by using this IP address," and then they can find out that it was you. Um, I can't actually show you the their account for this because that way you can use their internet. But I'm just going to see how I can actually get into it. Um, see, it says logged in as a Big Pond user. Okay. Um, I might have to stop it here because wait. Um, I might have to stop it here because um, I can't show you the password. But I, I'll, I'll just say it's on here somewhere, and all you have to do is just look for something, kind of like um, uh, just look for a user management, and and it's just all it is is just something at something. Uh, dot com, uh, dot com dot au. It's just like an email address, but it's an actual account that ADSL uses as a phone line. Okay, um, stop it. Um, uh, what we've actually done is, it's took us a while to actually get all the IP address and everything ready. We went onto the Big Pond website, and we found the plan that my friend's using was only ADSL 1, which was really old. So we went on, had a look, um, at, we had a discussing of the prices, and we actually got it to an ADSL 2, 2 plus, which is actually, they were going 1.5 megs per second, now it's going to go up to 2 gigs per second. So after I set this up, we'll put the router in, and it should take three days until they're laughing with its faster internet. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to unplug all these here. I'm going to keep some of these cords because, um, uh, because... Um, um, I don't have to worry about switching around, all I have to do is just unplug the power packs of those ones and use the same Ethernet cords for um, both the wireless um, the wireless and everything else. So I'm going to pass my camera to my friend, there we go, and I'm just going to go under the desk and pull out some of the cables. Oh, I might as well go ahead and bound. Okay. I'll just pause it. Okay, go. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'm um, actually, that's your ADSL line, so I'm going to unplug that one. See how, see how this, wait a minute. That's the phone. That's the phone cable. Yeah, I know that's the phone cable, but I'm saying that's got, that should have more pins. See how that has less pins than that one? Um, they might give you another cable. Um, I'll just check the other cable here. Oh, that has two. Okay, don't worry about it. I was just had a worry for a second. I'm going to plug the power of that one so they don't have internet for a while. Um, all these internet oh, cables no. I'm just going to unplug because we don't need this one. Don't need that one. Okay, that all falls down. What I'm going to do is just going to go down here and just unplug the power cords. Ow. <laughs> Could I borrow your assistance? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, don't.